Okay, welcome to the Hard On Barn. And it's got its name because many people have set foot in here and they've been really impressed by what they've seen because this is a 40 by 60 barn with a huge concrete slab floor. I mean, this is just a huge gift to us since we purchased this property. It's, it's really, you could do, you can imagine anything in here. So we started imagining and we thought since there was, whoa, that's some of the snow coming off the roof. Since there was this like sort of break room here, so th this used to be the nursery part where a big truck would come in here and it would drive around here and it would drop soil off in this area here. Now there used to be a wall here in the middle between these two fake walls. And you could still see some of the plywood on the wall. And you could see where the soil has been. See these big stains. Um, so yeah, they would use this potting soil, pot up all the plants in here. And then this used to be a little break room in here. So there's the wall where you're walking right now. And um, yeah, we're turning this into a workshop. And the first thing that I thought was good to do is um, we don't need that soil bay. So what we could do is we could just take that wall out and just extend this workshop from here on all the way to the other side of the barn. And you could see in the ceiling, we have these TGI joists and we also have a couple over there. So the roof is almost already finished. Yeah. The only thing we need to do is purchase three or four more and put them right here to complete the entire roof. Now then in order to make this an open space, we need to make sure to support these TGIs because they're, they're cut in half here. You may be able to see that. Yep. Um, so we're gonna make uh, a, a big beam here and the beam will look something like that that you see up there, the LVL beam. It's basically uh, glue laminated wood that's really strong and that can span 14 feet that we have here. So we'll build two thick posts on each end to carry that beam and then it will carry all those TGI joists. What's great about that is that, you know, it's really hard to insulate a roof of a barn, but since we have this sort of ceiling in here that's 12 foot high, we could just put insulation in there and, you know, make this, insulate this space versus worrying about insulating the entire barn, which would be, that would cost them a million dollars, I think, <laughs> if you wanted to do that. And so, what size is this space? This now this space shop? will be 40 by 14 big which is pretty big for a workshop. And it will have this big door here. And it also has plumbing built in because the previous owners, they were thinking of potentially putting uh, a toilet and everything in here. So that's what we've already built here.
We put a little utility room here for a pressure tank that pressurizes the water and goes to the, the house uh, down there, the metal home. And this will be a bathroom, so you'll have a door here, open it up, and then, you know, you're on the can. You're on the can. <laughs> and it's like a really small bathroom uh, because there, there's, a, there's a pipe here that is for a sink. And if this bathroom were to come out any further, then you would obstruct that. So you either include this with the space or you keep the sink on the outside. So I decided to keep the sink on the outside, put it right here. Uh, and that way you could use that for like paint and all this kind of stuff that well, you're also cleaning. good if you got something in your eye, you could just immediately go to the sink. You don't even have to walk through it. Yeah, door. we'll have like medicine cabinets and stuff, all that stuff here. So, and then the electric panel and stuff will be all here. So yeah, this is a uh, work in progress. And I'm just trying to clean all this up because we have more deliveries coming for wood to finish the rest of this workshop. And we also have some siding that's being delivered. So, you know, we can't obviously put that anywhere here if it's a mess like this. So I'm trying to just organize and figure out where everything needs to go based on when we need it. So these two by sixes, these were actually in the, in the wall that was here. So what we're doing is we're actually reusing a lot of the wood, almost all the wood that we find here, and we're reusing it in this new wall here. Like this was also a plate that was on the bottom that we're just moving and we're putting it right here. So what's great about this is that we're, you know, we barely have any trash when we're left, when we're done with this because most of it is being reused. Another thing I'm gonna reuse are these sheets. So these, oh, believe it or not, these are pressure treated four by eight plywood, three quarters thick, which runs almost $140 a sheet right now. And, you know, it would be sad to throw this away. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this wood on the outside of the building as like sort of our uh, layer where we can put our water resistive barrier onto, and then we put the siding on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna frame the inside of this barn, insulate it, drywall it, and then uh, once, once we redo the siding on this barn, we're gonna take the metal siding off and uh, put wood on the outside, this wood, then a water resistive barrier, and then, um, then the siding. The and board and batten siding. Board and batten siding, keep it simple. And then the metal, so, what are we gonna do with it afterwards? What's that? What are we gonna do with the metal afterwards? So that was on the now, of the barn? Now, the metal, I mean, this metal's in great shape, and part of it is one idea was to use it as a ceiling in the space. So if you look up, you can see all these trusses that are two foot on center. And, you know, it gives a really clean look when you put metal and it's white on the ceiling. Also, if it's white, it benefits uh, from reflecting a lot of the light back into the space. So we might consider doing that, and that would be a really good use of it. Or we could probably just sell it, or worst case, give it away to someone who can actually use it. So um, that's our plan with this. But if you could look here, the person who put this up thought it was necessary to put a freaking nail every 10 inches on this board to hold it in place, which I don't understand why. Because <laughs> like you already have soil pressing up against this. I mean, you could probably ram into this with a tractor and not even damage it. Because maybe, maybe that's what he was thinking. <laughs> uh, maybe. Because there's a lot of heavy equipment that would be going and coming in here. Hey, <laughs> these nails. So what I'm doing is I've tried different methods to get these sheets off, and I've, I've ended up with just peeling them out of there with this cat claw, just, you know, one by one it's peeling them out. It's a shame because you're, like, ruining I'm it. I'm damaging it, yeah. but, you know, it, and... and and that's a shame, but you know what? This is gonna be used on the outside of the building and it will be behind the yeah. siding, so yeah. it will still be able to function. And it's so thick that it doesn't really matter that some of this is chipped out. Mm -hmm. It's still very thick enough. Now on here, I tried a different approach. I took the nail gun and I took all the nails out. I took the safety down and then I set it to the maximum depth. And then I tried just punching these nails in there even further. So that's another method I'm trying, and I wonder how easy it is gonna be to get this sheet off once uh, I start 
peeling it off from the side. So I'm gonna get this one out and then I'm gonna see how easy this comes off. But you know, it's also very time consuming. This seems to be the fastest way to go about it. And yeah, the, you'll damage the sheets, but what are you gonna do? So. We're trying the best we can. Trying the best we can. So, and then, uh, yeah, this will be a great barn. We're, have, we're having someone come here in the, in the spring to rent this out. They're gonna build a tiny house in here. So obviously that's a great space to work in because it's really high ceilings. It's 16 feet high in here. Um, the workshop will be 12 feet high or 11 if you take the ceiling out. And if it rains, which it had been doing a lot And last then you year, can keep working in the rain. We working. have lights, so you can work in. Electricity You, you can you work it. when it's dark. You have electricity. So there, it's a great space to do work in. So challenge is just keep it organized, functional, and then you can actually build stuff in here. Otherwise, it's just a mess. You can't put anything in here because it's constantly just used as a dumping ground. So. Well, thanks for the tour, Sonder. Yep, I'm just going to continue doing this, and hopefully, I'll finish this. And then look at all these boards that have nails and that need to be oh, yeah, denailed. Denailed. And I actually got this air pressurized tool that you could put over your nail, and then it will shoot it out on the other side. Mm, fancy. So I can't wait till that to arrive. Then we'll try that on some of these boards. But yeah, it'd be a lot of work otherwise to take all this out one by one. So. And then if you could look here, this is where we're just stocking some of these, these sheets for it to be used later. So I know that this will be the last thing that will be used, so it goes on the bottom, and then I keep stacking more and more wood on top of it. Here we also have some of our old fence posts that we're keeping, and I see, I see an opportunity to be able to use most of the stuff that we're taking out of the land and reuse it, because why not? It's then otherwise you have to trash it, you have to pay for it to haul it off, and you know most of it can be reused. Same for these, uh, irrigation, these irrigation tubes. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to use those one day for something. Ah, it's snow. snow. It's nice to see that you're using my garden, <laughs> my garden seats for. <laughs> yes. Wood holding. Excellent wood holding tools. So. I mean, all this stuff could be reused. Just and then this will be firewood or just oh, biodegrade. Yeah, that's, that's really great tinder. Right there. So, yeah. Swipe right on that. <laughs>